Okay, I'm still studying uh, the Dr. Stifler um, loop, which is a series of diodes, uh, switching diodes in a ring with a um, LED board uh, with a plus minus on the ring. And I've got a capacitor set up here. This is a combination of uh, plastic and air capacitor. And uh, I just wanted to show that uh, I'm still holding with the idea that I've got a capacitive link up because of this and I'm feeding it with one wire coming off of the coil here that's being driven by a SEC 15-3 that's a Dr. Stifler design that's the voltage I'm feeding it at now this thing right here this is a combination I believe of induction and capacitive because when I put this sideways to it it goes down but it doesn't go out Normally with induction, when you go 90 degrees to the coils, they go way, way down. And this is uh, two switching diodes with uh, four LEDs. This is the loop. This is the Stifler loop right here. But this is the pickup coil for it. Now, this is induction. I, I will buy into that 100%. What's coming off here and going into that that's how I see a capacitor. That's a charge being built up here with a sine wave RF signal being transmitted to this other plate and then exciting this loop. And I'm going more and more with the theory that this is what's called a ring modulator. And look it up. It's R-I-N-G modulator. And uh, one of my commenters gave me some real good information on how this is possibly working with uh, these switching diodes ringing in different rates because they're not all identical uh, just like transistors aren't all identical and it gets set up in such a way that it takes the signal and they all compound together at a certain frequency and cause this big spike when what they call a beat frequency in music and this ring modulator goes way back, he was telling me, to the 60s when they got the acid rock uh, music uh, coming out really good using a ring modulator. And if you look at the circuit diagram for a ring modulator, the basic one, it's only four of these, but they all go in one direction. And I'm going more and more with that theory that what I've got here is a ring modulator. Um, I enjoy some feedback on that, the radio guys, uh, to find out more about that. But... He was saying that this was uh, pure induction, basically. But um, when I set this up today and I looked at that capacitive link up right there, I'm thinking there's something more to this. And Dr. Stifler was telling me that it's a combination of inductive and capacitive. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with people that uh, I'm still studying this um, link up to a... Uh, Stifler loop, and if you're following Dr. Stifler's work, he's now gone to one wire, and he's getting ready to put this outside going through the ground, and using the ground as the one wire, and this is right out of Tesla's work, when uh, Tesla lit up the light bulbs in the ground, I think that's what we're going to see Dr. Stifler doing, is lighting up one of these boards um, by sticking it in the ground. Thanks for watching.